Hey there, and welcome back. All right, before I begin, I just wanted to say, once again, thank you very, very much. Many thanks for those of you who gave me tips and suggestions on my first gaming PC. I hope to do, maybe on a weekly uh, basis, uh, Linux gaming reviews, and some Windows, but mainly Linux gaming reviews as soon as I can get enough funding for the gaming PC. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to buy. But that being said, many, many thanks. It gave me a lot to think about. And uh, yeah, I hope to do that as soon as I can. Maybe as a thank you, maybe I can do a weekly, oh, maybe a weekly, uh, the week in Linux gaming news or something like that. It seems like almost every day there is something positive uh, to say in the world of Linux gaming. So once again, thank you very, very much. From this Windows user to all of you Linux guys out there, it is greatly appreciated. But for this one, I think I found something really cool. For those of you who don't care for the Ubuntu Software Center, there's something called App Grid. Now this is what it looks like. This is something fairly new. Let me just go through this real quick. You have a search function here. Category, as you see here, arts, games, productivity, and so on. State, such as installed apps or exit out of that. And you can sort A to Z or top rated. I did see sign in with Ubuntu One, but I believe Ubuntu One is shutting down the end of this month or the end of next month as of this recording so this probably could use an update but that being said I've tested a few things and I haven't noticed any bugs or any freeze up so this seems to work pretty good as you see here the green checks is stuff pieces of software that I have already have installed uh, if you go down here like app grid you can click that and it'll take you to the website I, I won't do that now but you can get more information there if you click the arrow here, this will get you to the next page. Again, this, these pieces of software are in the form of a grid. I think this might be a little bit easier to use than the Ubuntu Software Center. At least from my perspective, I kind of like this better than the Ubuntu Software Center. I don't know yet if it is better, but it certainly seems to look a little bit better. Um, again, you can scroll back and forth as you see here. Uh, let's see, for example, let's say I wanted to install a piece of software. Let's go with, oh, I don't know. Um, let's see, Fluendo DVD player. Now, some of these you're going to have to pay. Oh, let's pick a free one here. Let's go to, let's go back. Okay, how about Mind Test? So I click that. This will tell you what it is looks like a game for kids. So if I wanted to install this, I would just click install. Now it says here uh, install or type in your password. I won't do it, but I have installed a couple pieces of software with this. It seems to run pretty good, pretty fast. I haven't noticed any glitches. Click the back arrow. It'll take you back to the main grid as you see here. Go to state, go installed. If I wanted to delete something, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. How about if I wanted to delete uh, Bleach Bit? Now, what I did here, I just left click and I have an option of to launch it or the icon here, the trash icon, to delete it. Now, I won't because I use this. <laughs> Somebody wrote garbage. I guess that person doesn't like it. It seems okay for me. Maybe I should have picked something that didn't say garbage. That being said, this is how you can launch <laughs> or delete uh, Bleach Bit. Moving along, <laughs> let's go to uh, top rated. And there you go. Those are your top rated apps. Go back once again to state top rated. You go to category. Let's go to, uh, let's see, what do I want? Sciences, system, appearance. Let's click that. And this will give you pieces of software that is that are related to appearance. So as you can see, this is very, very easy to use. So I like it. I think I like it better than the Ubuntu Software Center so far. It seems to work fine. Check it out, it seems to be very pleasing on the eyes. I'll have a link below in the show notes if you're interested in something like this. All right, guys, well, that's it for this quickie look at App Grid. Thank you once again so very, very much. Please don't, for, uh, don't forget to subscribe and support the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. I will have all the links below in the show notes. Show notes. Donate, donate if you can through PayPal, and also check out my uh, page on patreon.com. 
That's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening, and I will catch all of you sometime in the future.